So I'm at the 3D Systems in George Fisher booth at Formnext 2019. And uh, this year we decided to do something different with our booth. Instead of just placing the products all around the place, we said let's explain to customers uh, our real value proposition, which is basically an end-to-end -end workflow that we have just within the four walls of our company. That is the hardware, software, everything. So this is a metal additive manufacturing workflow. The plastic is on that half of the booth. So the metal additive manufacturing workflow, we use two examples. One is this uh, aerospace bracket. This is traditionally machined, as you can see. And then you have this, is, this traditionally machined um, a medical implant. Now, if you see here, although um, additive manufacturing allows you to print geometry of very complicated shapes, uh, sometimes the very simple things like this face that you can see needs to be completely flat with a mirror finish. Even the holes need to be perfectly circular. And uh, additive manufacturing sometimes can uh, pose challenges for these simple geometries. So what we believe is that uh, additive manufacturing is going to actually be a hybrid manufacturing that is a mix of additive and subtractive. So this is a workflow that shows you that entire mix. So we have the software, uh, the, the video is in a different place right now, okay here. You see the design. This is 3D Expert, our homegrown software. You can change change the geometry. You can defeature the holes, take away holes, add stock to uh, to machine the material later on. You can add supports. This is all in house. You can do analysis as well build simulation all within our software you can check slicing parameters check print strategies then place the parts and then you go to the printer which is the DMP flex 350 we have the factory finder at the back there and the output of the printer is this a 3d printed metal part and you can see a stock has been added at a place where the machines uh, where the holes need to be drilled and the flats uh, flat surface needs to be machined and in the implant you can see um, volumetric lattice structures have been built inside this was done using the same software so the key here is you don't need to jump from point to point uh, contact different uh, different companies for different point solutions. Everything is available under one roof itself. Now, after the printing is done, you need to do certain post processing. Now, unfortunately, the booth is not yet opened, so I can't show you the GF um, machine where the the subtractive manufacturing is going to happen. But maybe I'll uh, plug it in. Uh, I'll plug in that part of the video later on. So this is where the job comes in and the program is run. The, the flat surfaces are machined, the, the holes are drilled. So this is a GF product. And the 3D Systems has partnered with GF to, to uh, come up with the entire end-to-end -end workflow of additive and subtractive. If you continue to go down, this is a GF product called Cut AM500. 500. 500 because uh, uh, this is meant for a 500 by 500 build plate. So this is a specialized wire EDM machine. Uh, let me see if I can open it. Yeah. So this is the build plate where all the parts are there. And then what happens is this thing turns 180 degrees around, comes upside down, and the wire that you can see here is used to cut the machine, uh, 
is used to cut the parts and uh, and and they fall down to the liquid which is normally distilled water now the nice thing is you uh, as you can see there are the satellite brackets and the medical implants you can make a customized basket that goes over this so that when the job is overturned and the parts start to fall down they just don't go all over the place they're kept in place so this is the this is the YDDM solution from GF as you can see the machines are co-branded GF and the 3D systems even the flex 350 there so this takes you to the final part which is manufactured using a combination of additive and subtractive this is basically how the factories of the future are going to be mass producing metal parts so what you see is the complete end-to-end -end workflow and and uh, we really felt that it is very important for us to explain to our customers that there's no need to get confused as they as they navigate through the uh, through the uh, journey of additive manufacturing there is a company there's a strong partnership between 3d systems and gf wherein we um, have all the pieces of the puzzle all neatly strung up and tied it, tied it together which will make them successful the first time itself um, while i'm at it here let me take you around to our factory 500 this is our largest machine also co-branded uh, the three systems in gf this has got a 500 by 500 by 500 build uh, build volume inclusive of the build plate this is an aerospace part from thales and this is our machine it's big it's pretty big now this build volume is 500 by 500 by 500 mm uh, we've recently uh, been tasked by the u.s army uh, to build a metal printer which is uh, 1000 mm by 1000 mm by 600 mm build volume uh, because this is too small for them so things are getting pretty interesting and uh, it's 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 technologies and challenges like these that that make it very interesting to be a part of a, a company and a partnership that actually actually results in a meaningful end-to-end -end metal additive manufacturing workflow i made this video for a particular customer who unfortunately was unable to come to form next but i think i'm going to post this on youtube as well and share it on linkedin so that um, we are able to tell our story in a more effective way.